Hi, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and uh, there have been a lot of people struggling these days, and people are, are fighting with what is. So I wanted to talk to you about what is struggle, what does it mean? I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold out of past trauma and heartbreak so that you can live the life of your dreams. You know, there was a time that I struggled with everybody. I, I struggled with my mom. I struggled with friends. I, I felt like nobody understood me. I felt like a victim. And it's interesting that when I was feeling like a victim, I was victimized. And the interesting thing about our hearts is that until we let go of the past, and I mean totally let go of the story of the past, what happened to us, and totally forgive ourselves for our part and everyone else, then we struggle. We have a tendency to fight. We, we might fight with our exes. We might fight with our kids. We might fight with the dog trainer. We fight with everyone. And when we're fighting with other people, we're struggling and we're struggling with ourselves. And so today, these people that want to get their hair cut, you know, I, I have the right to get my hair cut. Yes, you do. But you know what? Right now, it might be better for you to get your hair cut at home. I'm sure you have scissors. <laughs> and if not, be like the rest of us and put your hair up. Find a bobby pin or two, an elastic band, wear a, wear a headband. <laughs> Find some other way. Find a workaround. And so when we fight with what is, we are in misery. When we're able to kind of navigate what's happening, like Jello, it's one of my favorite things, you know, Jello, J E L L, -L O, Jello. You know, it was something that I grew up with as, as a child. We used to have Jello, it was a, an inexpensive dessert. My mother found all kinds of creative ways to make Jello. And if you think about it, Jello in a bowl, what does it do? It, it, it jiggles, it moves, it's not solid and rigid. So be the Jello find a way to wiggle and and be okay with whatever it is and you'll find life is a lot happier it's a lot easier and people will like us a lot more when we're not <laughs> trying to make them do our will and our bidding because we're we're just you know, we go with the flow. Instead of being the salmon trying to swim upstream against the current, be with okay with be okay with whatever it is. And so what does that mean? Well, you know, it might mean that, you know, you've been working in a restaurant, but you've got great um, abilities and you, you start a business, a, a cottage-based home business, doing something else. Maybe you've got intuitive abilities, psychic abilities, and you could do readings. You could help people, you know, change their lives in big ways. So find a way to be okay with what is rather than struggling and fighting against the stream, against the current, you'll find life is a lot more peaceful, happier, and more joyful. And so I'm just gonna comment about this dress. My mother gave me this dress, it is hers. Um, I am cycling through all of my clothes. I am wearing what I have rather than doing online shopping for something new. I am rotating my clothes. Use what you have. These are all these ways are, are opportunities to be more okay with your experience, to be okay with what you have. Um, my, my goal is to not go to the grocery store for another a week to 10 days because I feel like we are still in this time where we want to stay safe and even though maybe some things are opening up I am not going to be going bowling I'm not going to be going to some fitness center I am doing my workout at home when I do I am cooking at home and <laughs> I'm using what I have so find a way to be okay with what is instead of fighting with it all and so 
you'll find more joy that way. We've got time. It's a great time to meditate. And I have a 21-day meditation going on right now with a group. It's really powerful. I'm in another group where I'm doing another 21-day meditation. And tomorrow night, by the way, it's my second, my second class for, um, it's a master class for intuition. It is absolutely free if you're interested. I, I will be posting the link. So it's tomorrow night, 5 p.m. on Pacific time on Zoom. It's absolutely free. And so there's two more classes, tomorrow night and one more. And so if you've been wanting to expand your intuition, if you've been wanting to learn how to channel, uh, this is a great opportunity. I will not be teaching channeling, but you'll be getting the precursors to ways and exercises that you can do to expand the gifts that you already have. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here with me. I know there's plenty of things you could be doing. You could be rollerblading in your kitchen or watching Netflix. So thank you so much. Mwah! I love you and enjoy the rest of your day.